Hello and welcome to HD Calc. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can write, store, and recall notes on the Texas Instruments PI84 Plus graphing calculator. If you don't have one of these calculators but would like one, check the link in the description down below. To do this, we'll use the second key that looks like this located here the alpha and alpha lock key that looks like this located here, the program key that looks like this located here, the plus key with the second function of memory that looks like this located here, the mode key with the second function of quit that looks like this located up here, and the delete key that looks like this located here. If we want to write a note on our calculator, what we have to first do is go into the program menu. To do that, we hit the program key right here, and that'll bring us to this screen here. If we have no other programs or notes saved, this will be blank. If we want to enter a new one, we scroll over to new, and then hit one create new. So we can just hit enter there. And it'll go ahead and ask us to name our program or our note. Let's call this note one. You can see the cursor flashing has an A in it. That means we have alpha lock on, which means that when we hit any of these keys, the green letter that is in the top right will appear rather than the main key. So for example, if I hit four, we'll get the T, not the four. So like I said, we'll call this note one. So we go ahead and go N, O, T, E. And then if we wanted to have the one as a number rather than a letter, what we do is hit the alpha key here. That turns off our alpha lock. You can see we no longer see the A in our cursor and we can press the one. There we go, we've got our note named. Now we can just hit enter. And here we can go and enter our full note or program. Well, let's make this one a shopping list. So, first thing we want to do is again, we notice there's no A in our cursor. If we want to use letters, we go second A lock, which turns on our alpha lock. And that again makes our letters appear rather than numbers or other symbols. So, the first thing we need to get is some milk. So, we go M I. L, K, there we go. And if we're done with this row, we can just hit enter. And our cursor will jump down to the next row. And again, you can see the alpha lock has been turned off. Next, let's get two eggs. Now we don't need to worry about the alpha lock since we want to have a number first. So we'll just go ahead and put our two there. And then we want a space. To do that, first we put on our alpha lock again. And then we use the zero with the alpha lock of this space here. There we go. And then we put eggs. So E, G, G, S. There we go. Enter again. And finally, let's grab some bread. So once more. Second alpha to turn on our alpha lock, and then B R E A D. All right, there's our shopping list. Once we're done, we can exit by pressing the second mode key with the second function of quit. 
our note will be automatically saved and will be back to our main screen. If we want to go back and review our note, again, all we do is go to the program menu with the program key. And we see our note one now appears on this screen. If we want to view it, we have to scroll over to the edit, highlight it, and hit enter. That brings up our note. We can review our shopping list if we need to. And let's say we want to update it. Well, that's easy enough in this screen. We just scroll to what we want to change. And for example, let's say we need to get four eggs instead of two. We just highlight it, change that two to a four, and we're good to go. And again, we can exit with the second quit back to this main screen. What about when we're done working with our notes and want to delete them to save space? To do that, we press second, then the plus sign with the second function of memory. And then we scroll down to the second option, mem, select that, which brings us to this menu here. Now, if we scroll down to the next screen, or number seven, we see program. This is where our notes are stored. So we select that. And there we see our note one. And this tells us how much space our note is taking up. To delete it, all we do is highlight it with that arrow there, and then press the delete key. It'll ask us to confirm, are you sure? If we're sure we want to delete it, scroll down to yes, and hit enter. That note has now disappeared, and we can exit out of that with the second quit. Now, if we go back to our program menu, that note is gone and we can enter new ones. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.